Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb, only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have coming.
the Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Ah, one more, I see. Won't you join us, sir? We were just about to begin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the annual gathering of the Ark Society. As Ark patrons, you are welcome to explore the castle grounds. However, certain areas are off limits, including the keep, which houses the members area, convention space, and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for Ark membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All set? Excellent. Follow me, please. Sir, I hope you're well. So is that the, um, uh, the master of ceremonies in the chapel? Yeah. Yep. You think they're gonna start soon? I feel like we've been waiting for hours. you through. You gotta move on.
That's him. The Constant. Providence's top controller. Everything depends on capturing him alive. Zuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years until Blakeney. Get the hell up or I'll knock you down permanently. Cloud Serpent. They say it belonged to Montezuma himself. It was lost for over 500 years until Blake Nathaniel unsealed the serpent's tomb. Extraordinary. It's a flippy necklace. Anyway, the Washington Twins found it first. The way I hear it, Sophia literally has the necklace in her hand when Nathaniel repels from the ceiling, triggers this ancient death trap, and, you know, murder and mayhem ensues. But I thought those two were lovers. But on and off. Currently way off, which explains the added security. I don't follow. Think about it. Why the need for an alarm system? We're all filthy rich, except. I see. Blake thinks Sophia might try and steal back the necklace before it's sealed in the Ark of the Legacy. Good grief. No honor among thieves, huh? I'll say. Hmm. Alarm sensors. You'll need to disable the system to get at the necklace, 47. I'll look into it. Sir, sir, you can't be here. Okay, I'm finished. You're free to go. Just don't come this way again. Yeah, real lands are real people. I'm not an art expert. Mr. Nathaniel tells us to keep an extra eye on it, then that's what we're gonna do. That is Zoe Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite a mouthful. Cornelia, you made it. Zoe! I've been looking for you. Or should I say, Madam Chairwoman? <laughs> Don't make me feel... Hope you're well, sir. Nonsense. You and Sophia are the most exciting people I know. Speaking of, what's your next adventure? I wish I knew, but Sophia, it's like she's lost her taste for it or something. This place is all she cares about now. I don't know. I get restless is all. Well, you're not getting any younger. Maybe you should take a break at the beach. A bit of self-pampering never hurt anybody. Thanks. Let me think about that while I go toss myself from the top of the keep. Oh, <laughs> Zoe. You'll never change. I cannot let you back here. I'm sorry, staff only. Hello, sir.
One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Smooth, 47. The Sparrow's got nothing on you. Nice show, nice show, man. You! Yes, Nathaniel? What am I looking at? Why, that's the... But... It's gone. It can't be with the alarm. Expertly disabled, I assume. But... There was someone here the whole time. And besides, stealing from the Order? No Ark member would be so foolish or disrespectful. The patrons neither. Maybe one of the custodians took it to be polished or... Oh, no, no, no. I know exactly what happened. Or who happened. You do? Who's the culprit? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. All right, I'll take care of this. Back to work. Or whatever the hell it is you do around here. Man? Yeah. I'm gonna need to back up over the gallery. Good evening. Oh, what's this now? Blake, you backstabbing son of a bitch. <laughs>
Do me a favor and see. Sweet mother of God. That's a, a what are you human doing? being. Hey! <laughs> That is Sophia Washington, chairwoman of the Ark Society, professional treasure hunter, and Providence operative. Quite the resume. The council meeting. You know Sophia. Blake, I almost didn't recognize you without a knife in my back. I messed up. I see that now. Can we talk? <laughs> this should be good. Follow me. I don't know. I mean, they're not idiots. It's not like they want to screw up the planet. Energy Take care, sir. Follow the money like everybody else. Hey, stay safe. Excellent, 47. Let's give Sophia her heart's desire, shall we? You've got one minute. I did wrong by you, Sophia. I see that now, and I want to make amends. Here, this is rightfully yours. Well, well. Look who comes crawling back. Leave us. Enjoy your night. You know... We lost three men because of you. Wickus was crushed by a rolling boulder. Jaco fell into a pit trap. And Zoe and me? We only escaped the arrows by using one of the local guides as a human shield. Now, this is a nice gesture, but it doesn't even begin to make amends. I know. May I? Fine. But not too tight. You know, I thought about sending the boys out. Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs or warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're burned with his Move. I'm 
partners no more. I take it. With a bunker in your backyard and I had a, a notion of something didn't oh, sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. Enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. 
Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one, Miss Burnwood, is untouchable.